Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you a combination so you have the only amount of and we're going to show you some minor details on how to actually finish the Americana and also a counter when somebody actually tries to counter the Americana or you make a couple of mistakes. So you get to mount, everything's looking good. Here. First thing for the Americana, you want to make sure you've got a good base. I kind of keep my hands down here, make sure he can't bump me. I want to make sure all my base is good. I like to take this hand first, I put my weight on one side, and I keep this hand out. So that way if he tries to bump me, I can post out. I take this hand here, I put it on top, and I take my other hand, I put it on top. And I kind of like come up here. I'm going to use my strength, and I'm going to push with both hands down on the mat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> here, I'm going to push, I'm going to put hands down on the mat here. Now, the first thing on this one here is when you start doing this, if this is in training class, I don't usually like to do this, but in a tournament or something else, I like to take my elbow and I kind of put it on their neck, right on this section here to kind of control their head, and then I drive it into the mat, and then I push their head to the side. This way they can't turn their head, and it's a little harder for them to bump me. I have both my hands here, so they do, I can still go, but if he can't turn his head, it's really hard for him to turn. So what I do is now I'm going to take this hand, and I'm going to slip it underneath. Now, when you're trying to finish the actual the Americana here, most people try to start doing this, and they flex up, and they try to go here, and some people have tight shoulders, and they can finish at this, and anybody who's really flexible, this doesn't work. So the big detail I tell everybody is you need to take this hand, and you need to drag his elbow down. The more you can get his elbow down by his side, the tighter it makes his shoulder. So as I drag it down here, all I gotta do is lift this back hand, and I'm pretending like I'm painting the mat, and you'll get the tap. Now, the problem with this is a lot of people are super strong, and they do is they push their hand up as you're here. They start pushing their hand up, and then they rotate their elbow up to take the pressure off. And they're trying to hold whatever they can, so I can't actually do the move. So what I like to do is, as they get here, I take this outside elbow, rub it across their face, and I drop it on the mat, and I'm trying to pull it underneath his head. I take my free hand, I come across, and then I knife it right across his throat, and I finish something called a paper cutter. Right here, you just squeeze down. So as I'm here, I'm just taking this, and I'm cutting it right across the carotid here, and you'll get the tap. Thanks, stay tuned.